uh, what's your name and, and why are you here? Yes, my name is Floris Kut and I'm here to um, help innovate, change the world, uh, bring forth the gentle revolution. And in, in what way are you tra trying to achieve this? Um, by doing innovations uh, in many areas, like I invented a new sport, a new teaching methods, uh, games and different ways to look at the world and see what we're doing. So those are things you, you, you came up with. Um, what, what was the impact? The impact is slow, but uh, I work for a very small school, so it's less than 20 people. But the impact is huge. So we have uh, teachers from other schools come to look at our school, Nomads, a uh, business school in Amsterdam, to look how we how we were working, how are we approaching uh, reality. We I, I work especially in areas where no other school is teaching, like the magic of life, or uh, how to be more revolutionary, social guts, uh, social courage is perhaps a better word, um, how to be more creative or playful, because play is the essence of learning, and also how to bring aliveness into people and help them find their own answers. I mean, too many people who had done a whole education feel lost and they want to help the world and make a positive difference and they don't know how, which is crazy because they just went to school for, I don't know, 15 to 20 years. So, <coughs> so we need to change the whole educational system. It should not be part of the problem or train people to be part of the problem. It should train people to be part of the solution and we need solutions you know the <coughs> the world is in trouble and especially if you look at ecosystems under threat decline of uh, animal populations uh, plastic in the oceans uh, threat of war currently and if we don't have people who take the social courage and say hey I'm not gonna help your war or I'm not gonna help your industry that is becoming increasingly more essential and that they start to invent like social entrepreneurs that's also what we train uh, solutions and be part of the solution so, tell me more about your school what, 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 uh, yeah what what sort of school is it is it like an official school no it's outside the system yeah. we, we don't have any tests so I, I work for the school and I am a private speaker a trainer a workshop facilitator and the, the school the two worlds yeah. And, and they're co combined in, I work everywhere the same style, so uh, the school is a social entrepreneurship school, it's international, we have about uh, 12 students currently, so that's very small. Age? 20 to 35, because it's outside the system. There's no testing at all, there's no uh, final exams. So how do you get in? By writing a letter of application and paying the fee, because we need to live at the same time and then so we how much is the fee i think a bit of three thousand or or more uh, for half a year full time and uh which is very expensive if outside the system but is nothing compared to certain mbas so uh and we help you find who am i what do I want to do in the world? What do I want to change? What kind of world do I desire? And how can I contribute to that by either starting a business or creating myself a job that helps this change, makes this change happen? And if I work with the same means within normal organizations, so outside of the school, uh, then it's about uh, how, what makes you come alive? What would you like to change in this system? What is possible? How to liberate yourself from feeling caught in and by the system and uh, feel you have purpose and meaning and and many people are already very meaningful and they don't see it or they are in the wrong job and then perhaps they need to change but they don't know how or where to begin or are afraid and uh, f I think fear is a problem for change. So so why do, do you call it a school? Isn't it more like well uh, sort of like a uh, um well, when you go to, to a, 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 well, maybe not a counselor, but someone who tries to give you insights, why is it a school? Uh, well, we work in tribes. One of my official job titles is tribal wizard. So I'm the wizard. And the school works in a tribe. That means that um, they work as a group. So they 
impregnate each other with ideas. They stimulate each other to do things and they fight things out to make things work. They, so they're co-responsible for making the school work. And uh, they are extremely motivated. So the, to give an example, difference between normal education and, and this school, if I work with this group, they'll challenge me. They ask questions they really want to know. They'll, uh, they'll even uh, fight me on certain issues. If I work in a normal school, they'll ask questions and then I find out that the questions they ask were not about what do I want to know, but what do I need to know in order to answer the questions on the test later right. To get a right, a good so mark. Disconnected from their topic, they're disconnected from their own meaning. And this, this training in this connection, much of education is training in this connection very sadly, <coughs> needs to be revol revolt, revolved or uh, turned around. And so, so we also do body work. You know, it's a business call and we do body work because you want to have people feel and trust their intuition. So it's so on many levels. Uh, we also, uh, of most of our students, go on a nature quest. So we once had a group of 25 students going to nature quest for three days, sit without food, only water, in nature to contemplate their life, their journey, their mission in this world. That's very basic stuff and it goes very deep because people really get in touch with their own longings, desires, gifts. You tell me there, there are 20 people in the school right now. Um, is, is, is that enough to make a change? Yes, because I said there's a the gentle revolution for me is everybody on the planet who works for a positive change and to tries to counter the whole destructive industrial age towards a ecological sustainable uh, system. Our school is very small. It's one of the many alternative ideas. So we have contact with many other schools. So. There we are. We have a huge ripple effect. We are less, than, so we let 20 people currently. It has been bigger and then it's smaller, so the size changes. But we have enormous ripple effect on other education that learn from us, are inspired from us, or steal ideas from us, which all leads to a transformation of the whole educational system. Or it challenges them because how can you, how can you get students to do things without testing? Well perhaps people have their own desires and want to learn from the inside out. Did you know that education, for instance, educare comes from the word educare, which originally means to change from the inside out. And school originally comes from the word taking time for yourself. So, how the fuck do we end up with a system where you, in obligated time, get information from the outside in? That's, it's warped. But it, it is, so if, if you look very darkly at it, it's a system of control and training to compliance to work in industries. But, and it, it damages talents. So everybody has special gifts. <coughs> Whatever somebody does, they have special gifts. And if they can't live those gifts because they, you can't measure those gifts, like uh, you know uh, the CETO test at the end of uh, primary school, you measure if you can read and write and do uh, arithmetic. But nobody looks at how much you are capable of loving others, how much you are collaborating with other students, how creative you are, artistic, uh, nice to your grandparents, a willingness to do shopping for the neighbors. All those essential life qualities are not validated. And that's madness. And if you children who have, score high on all these others, but you say, hey, but you're not a good at school, therefore you are low grade, you rob society of talent. So we need a complete transformation in seeing what is talent, seeing what talent there is, and stimulate it to shine, because that will deeply enrich society. Why is it important for you to be here today? Because this is my network. I learn from people as much as they learn from me. I meet a lot of interesting people. Uh, here there's a gift culture, so everybody is igniting each other, stimulating each other. Um, <coughs> that's, a, that's a word I lost. Uh, but it's stimulating each other so that, and it's seeing that you're not alone in your change. You know, I work for a very small school. I work as an independent trainer. 
am I mad? No, I'm not mad. Because I have enough people say, Flora, you inspire me. And those people I work for. So, so uh, when you leave here today, when, when, when do you leave as a happy man? When, when do you feel I've achieved what I came to achieve? Well, um, one, uh, I already will leave as a happy man. I just gave a talk and uh, people, some people really touched and uh, I might do an assignment for to uh, city council. So that's, that's awesome to work on those levels as well. I'll be happy if I go home, wow, that too is happening, you know, already see some things and I heard, spoke some people that go, wow, amazing what you're doing. So uh, I, I feel there's a brotherhood and sisterhood of people who are positive influences in the world, whether it gets paid or not. And that's, that's hopeful, that people want to contribute to society, whether it gets paid or not, because they feel it's necessary. And that energy, I feel alive here, so I go happy home when I am around that energy for a day, because it helps me do my things with fire and passion. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Tot zover. Uh, we zijn straks weer terug met de volgende gast.